And right here you can see the emitter of transistor number one feeds into the base of transistor number two. So the gain here goes into here. Hey, what's happening guys hope you're having a great weekend today we are going to talk about Darlington pairs or Darlington transistors or Darlington arrays however you want to refer to them basically a Dar Darlington pair is a pair of transistors that are cascaded together to amplify the gain and okay in case you don't you know that like B symbol is the symbol for gain so the Darlington gain we'll call BD is equal to the gain of transistor 1 times the gain of transistor 2 plus the gain whoops, of transistor 1 plus the gain of transistor 2. That's a lot of gain. And in fact, the gain of a Darlington transistor can be a thousand times or more. It's incredible. So why do you want to use this? Okay, let's take a look at our basic transistor theory. We're going to deal with an NPN transistor, okay? So here is our transistor. We have our base, our collector, and our emitter. And we're always going to have a current limiting resistor feeding our base our collector is going we're going to be doing high side switching so our collector will be connected to whatever device we're switching and our emitter is going to go to ground well if we have say like a uh, 2n4401 npn transistor which has a gain about 285 okay so if we feed in one milliamp of current and we're assuming everything is perfect here this is theoretical in the real world nothing's perfect there's always going to be decay delay and noise so we're just we're just doing perfect here anyway you have that gain there so you're basically going to get out 285 milliamps so that allows you to use a very tiny bit of current to switch a much larger load now a Darlington pair consists of two transistors in this case they are both NPN transistors okay and this is our first transistor this is our second transistor I think my drawing is getting worse and worse So this is our Darlington pair. We have our two transistors here. But we want to look at this as one transistor. So we actually are going to call this one base collector and emitter. Even though we have base one, collector one, emitter one, base two, collector two, and emitter two. We're gonna we're gonna consider this as one unit, and I'm also gonna note here before somebody asks me, no, there is no resistor on base two because we're taking all the gain of base one and pumping it into base two. So there's a little bit about the theory. 
Now let's look at the practical aspects. Okay, here's our example with a single transistor and a single transistor gain. This is a, a 2N4401 with a 100 kiliohm resistor feeding the base and a 10 watt, 10 ohm resistor as a load. And I've got two ammeters hooked up here. The O1 is showing the current flowing into the base resistor and the unity is showing the current flowing out of the emitter. So I'll power up the circuit and you can see we have four milliamps flowing in and we, oh I'm sorry that's not four milliamps that is 42.7 microamps flowing in and 12 milliamps flowing out. So a considerable gain. Now let's take a look at the same circuit except with a Darlington pair. Okay so here is our same circuit except now you can see we have the Darlington pair. There you can see the emitter from the first transistor feeding the base of the second transistor. There's our same um, 100K resistor. Let's zoom in here so you can see it better. There. There's our 100K resistor. This is transistor one. This is transistor two. The collectors both go to VCC. And if we take a look Our input current has creeped up a little bit to six microamps and our output current is 769 milliamps. Now let's see. Yeah, they're a little bit warm. So you don't want to be running that forever. But all in all, let me power this off. Easy peasy. The Darlington transistor array. Darlington transistor pair. Darlington transistor. A thousand ways to say it. It's all the same thing. Instead of one transistor, you cascade two transistors. You take the gain from the first one. You squeeze it through the second one. And you multiply the gain exponentially easy to do and you don't even have to do this yourself Darlington transistors are available in ICs used every day everywhere and now you know how they work so I hope this helped you I hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up comment share don't forget to subscribe and a huge thank you to all my patrons that's it I'm out peace